you know the deal, man. No, no laughing, no smiling. No fun. No having fun. <laughs> Whatsoever. <laughs> What's up, y'all? I'm Roy. It's Colin. And we're uh, back with another uh, video for you. Before we start, I gotta just say this one thing. Colin and I are extremely thankful for all the feedback we've gotten, uh, you know, all the love that everybody's showing for these videos that we're doing, and, uh, you know, it keeps us going. It does, man. It motivates me. It makes me so excited to get going with it. Yeah, we've got... Appreciate you. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for sharing it. Thanks for liking it. Thanks for the comments. Thanks for the questions. Thanks for the encouragement. All that. So, uh, what we're going to do today is... We've got a lot of videos that we, we want to talk about. I mean, that's the hard part is just picking, picking what we want to talk about. But the last one where Colin talked a little bit about addiction, which was phenomenal. Thank you, way, man. I got to tell you, that Thank was you. awesome. Drawings and all. I drew some stuff. He was worried about the drawings. I was and upset. And I didn't see him until he I was upset because I didn't have enough time to do it like I wanted to do it. But, you know. Get all artistic with it. But <laughs> he did it up. So we didn't want to move on until there were some things that we felt were left unsaid about that kind of so just a couple of things i like to mention yeah so we want to uh you know go ahead and, and finish that one up kind of there's some some things that we still if we if you can finish i don't think there's any you can't finish it but it was just some some points i wanted to touch on before we move forward let's do let's let's do that man so basically i went into a big broad details on you know the hypothalamus and the peptides and all this stuff but the bottom line of what I want to say, this is going to be really, really brief, by the way. I'm going to keep it as short as possible. I don't think you should. I think you should talk for a minute. I think you should talk for a minute. <laughs> well, when I was a little baby. <laughs> but when you are, um, when you have a drug or alcohol or cigarettes or, you know, like I said, the sex or your gambling, sex, gambling extremely happy about something. The endorphins that you get from that, they're all similar, okay? That's what I meant by that. I, I didn't mean that when you're angry, you know, you like to be angry. I'm just saying there's a peptide attached to that or there's an endorphin attached to that that makes it kind of enjoyable. But it's super minute. It's very obvious when you're happy or you're having sex or you're, you're in Cancun. But when you're angry... When you're in Cancun it's, having sex. <laughs> especially if you're in Cancun having sex. But I'm telling you guys, it, it's so inconspicuous when you're angry though. It's like when you're upset, those peptides or those endorphins are coming at you and you're just like, you don't even realize it feels good. That's why I'm saying keeping an evaluation of what's going on with yourself. And that's why we're touching on the behind the scenes stuff. That's why we're talking about psychological and the cellular and all these things first um, before we get into uh, you know, if you go ahead and take your vitamins and all that stuff is all irrelevant until you get this stuff first, in my humble opinion. Right, then that's um, true. If you don't have the philosophy behind it, then there's nothing to drive you when it gets hard. There's nothing, I mean, you've got to have the right mindset. You've got to have the right philosophy. Absolutely. And this is all part of it. Absolutely. And we're addicted to philosophy. <laughs> that, that's a good addiction right there. But this is the main point I wanted to make. When you're drunk or high or upset, it all takes time, okay? If you were, if you, if any point in time in your life you were ever drunk by drinking too much, if the, you're not drunk right now, and the reason is it wore off. The buzz went away, or the drunkenness went away, or the high went away. Well, endorphins are no, they're no different. So when you're upset, that's why whatever your method is, is it counting to 10? Is it walking away? Is it taking a time out? Is it, you know, going somewhere and meditating, or is it just watching, uh, watching, you know, your favorite show on TV? Whatever it is, something positive has to happen. Don't attack or, anyone. That does feel good. We've it, done that. Exactly. But it ends up bad. I'm just Absolutely. Saying. Because if I drive when I'm drunk, the plausibility of me wrecking that car is highly increased. Mm. If I argue, if I fuss, or if I try to make a point while I'm angry, well, I'm under the influence of those peptides that are negative. So you're not in the end result even going to be able to represent yourself well. So that was the main point I wanted to make. And uh, I've made all those other details to end it with that. And um, I missed that opportunity. But I wanted to go ahead and touch on that. Like I said, it's going to be real brief. But guess what? Ah, Roy. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, let y'all know that we don't script these. Um, first the, first one, the first one we did 
Roy was like, hey man, uh, I need to go get this part for my car. And by the way, where's my camera phone? Ah, let's do a video. Let's do it. Let's, let's do it. Video. So we did the video and it was just organic. And that's 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 how we do it, man. We're just going to do everyone organic because we want to give it to you the way we're getting it. Right. Like when we're having a conversation, I want people to be there and, and to be able to listen. Yeah, so you and can see it real. You, you can see us fail. We're going to mess up. Exactly. This is the closest thing to it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So... I'm going to go ahead and let you guys know that Roy is actually going to go ahead and talk about his his water. Um, um, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. you didn't expect that. Uh -huh. Roy has some things on his mind about water on a standard <laughs> level, and um, I can't wait to hear about it. I don't want to wait a couple of days to hear about it, so I made sure I kept that brief so we can Listen, we can see what's going on, on. Okay, see what we're going the, on up in the dome. Okay. Well, so I'm gonna hold camera. it. I'm gonna give you the camera. Okay. So now we're now we're gonna run long. Okay. Because <laughs> I'm gonna talk for a minute. All right. So I'm a big fan of of you know having the right philosophy and then having the right steps. Simple steps for complex problems. So when this is over, I'm gonna give you two simple steps for real complex reasons. Okay. So what I wanted to talk about was. Um, on a cellular level, when you think about your body on a cellular level, okay, you have six minerals in, that move in and out of your cells to basically to make the cell charge on the inside and the outside correct because a cell that is charged correctly is an optimally functioning, functioning cell which makes high functioning tissues and fibers, which makes high functioning organs, which makes high functioning organ systems and then ultimately a high functioning human, right? So. And these six minerals that, that move in and out of your cells are sodium, chloride, potassium, uh, phosphorus, magnesium, and calcium, okay? They, they all day long, all night long are moving in and out of your cell to make sure that the charge is correct on the inside and on the outside of the cell. And we're going to get into deficiencies on all these things. We you know, will, I promise you. We'll, we'll like, man, when are they going to tell us about a vitamin or something? Right, right. <laughs> what, can I, what, what can I eat? <laughs> all right, so with these things moving in and out of your cell all the time, to correct the charge of the cell, that's why they call these things electrolytes, right? Well, you can have all the, you can have an abundance of magnesium and it doesn't matter if you don't have the vehicle for this, which is water. Absolutely. All right, so what, what makes this all happen and makes it all possible is water. So it, let's say you, you've got all the magnesium you need, it, it won't matter if you don't have the vehicle for it. It's like having money in the bank that you can't spend or pay your bills with because you don't have a checkbook or a check card or whatever, you know? So. What this does, so what, what I'm talking about here is high functioning cells, okay? So if, let's say, let's take, uh, like me and Colin, we leave, we go to the convenience store, I grab myself a can of soda, a diet soda, because that's better for me, right? <laughs> it is so, actually, but we won't get into that. <laughs> so I give me a can of diet soda. Instead of me drinking this soda, if I, were to, if I were to take it and pour it in a container, what you would have is this mixture of acidic chemicals, basically. And when you think about acid on a chemistry standpoint, from a chemistry standpoint, acid, what it does is it breaks things down. It destroys things. You know, when you watch the old Bugs Bunny cartoon, he puts the spoon in the thing and he pulls it out and the spoon is gnarled up and, you know, in, in Nevada acid. Well, that's what that is. And the way I understand it, it takes about 30 glasses of water to neutralize that acid. Absolutely. Okay, so I would have to put 30 glasses of water in that container with that healthier diet soda it's going to kill me to say yeah, that. I'm being facetious. Yeah. He's being facetious. Yeah, don't, don't uh, drink they said they were going to drink diet soda, but that is not what we're saying. <laughs> no. <laughs> saying the opposite of that. All right, so to make that, to make that acid no longer able to break things down, I need to, I know, I'm like, I'm still moving closer to uh, No, man, put your head, so on, make put it, your head on my shoulder. To this, put your head on my shoulder. Yeah, go to sleep. <laughs> to, make this, to make this diet Coke, or I didn't mean to say, I mean cola. I'm trying to not say any brand names. Oh, uh, yeah. Best. I Please. blew it. Please. See, you're going to see us fail. That's organic. Yeah, that's, that's a failure. Uh, please, uh, coat, don't, yeah, don't, don't get us killed. Don't, after us. don't hurt us. got ninjas and all kind of stuff. Don't, don't send them ninjas. We don't mean no harm. Especially if they're all jacked up on your product. <laughs> <laughs> now we're, de we're definitely going to get killed now. So anyway. <laughs> this is our obituary. Right. So <laughs> it would take 30 glasses of water to make this, this, this diet soda no longer acidic, no longer able to break things down. Right. So if I were to take that same diet soda and put it in my body, right, do you think I'm going to follow it up with 30 glasses of water? Probably not. Do I have 30 glasses of water in me to spare? No. No, I don't. So your body does something that's actually really cool. It goes into survival mode. Okay, so your body, well, this is an awesome function. If, if it didn't happen, then... You'd be dead in no time. Yeah, a couple of sodas would probably kill us, I guess. I don't know. 
What do you think? Uh, well, your blood has to maintain that level of alkalinity. So yeah, without probably, that, you'd be dead in no time. You'd probably time. die. So what your body does is starts robbing Peter to pay Paul, right? So you start taking water from here, water from there, water from different organs. You know, okay, we need we need your kidneys to function well because we got to get rid of this stuff. You know, we need your liver to function well, so we got to get rid of this. So we're going to take blood from there. We're going to take blood from your hypothalamus. Absolutely. That he was talking about, right? So we don't need it, all the. Uh, functions where you you're able to deal with emotional stress we just need this human to be able to go from point a to point b without walking into walls and tripping over their own feet and all this sort of thing right so the hypothalamus is where you regulate your hydration and everything also so see so uh, you're you're like so you're robbing your cells so now when you take a cell and you dehydrate that one cell by one percent that cell loses ten percent of its function all right so you take a a cell that's dehydrated by one percent that cell's only functioning at 90%. So that's going to make tissues and fibers that are functioning at 90%. That's going to make organs and organ systems and organ system functions and ultimately a human. And that's just 1% dehydration. I'm not talking about deficiencies and minerals or any of that sort of thing. Just the 1% dehydration. 1% would also, if you're trying to work out today and you're at 1%, 20%, your, your strength is at 20%. So you're not, you're not going to be the same strength that you need if you're dehydrated right. also. so you're losing out on all kind of stuff. So basically what, what happens is when I get that diet soda and I, I put it in my body, what I've done is I've, I've sent a signal to every cell in my body that says, Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> you know, we got, we, got some, we got a crisis here we've got to deal with. So we're going to take water as we need and, and, you know, neutralize this problem the best we can to get rid of it. Okay, where, as opposed to where if I were to not drink that soda and to drink some water... All right. So now this blood that's rushing that has to rush to this organ and that or blood, which is ninety percent water. Now I've I've introduced a solution instead of a problem. Now we've got extra water, mm-hmm. right? Instead of some kind of issue that we've introduced into our body. So if you can't guess what my my two little helpful steps are here, the first tell one, us, Roy. I'm the, waiting, the, baby. The first <laughs> one is don't ingest a problem. Exactly. The second one is to ingest a solution. All right, because. And for both of us, I can't think of a good time to, you know, the only time I can think of that I would drink a soda is when it's convenient for me to have a problem. <laughs> well, you stable. know what I'm saying? So I can always think of a time to have a solution. That's a t-shirt. That's a t-shirt. That's a t-shirt. <laughs> that's a t-shirt. We're going to have those out in about two yeah, weeks. Yeah, don't, don't watch that part because that's our idea. <laughs> don't steal it. Don't steal it. <laughs> <laughs> so... When I go into it, so the philosophy behind this that, that, that I, that I want to help with, that I think, you know, we all know we should do these two steps, right? That's not, everybody knows that. Hydrate, hydrate. We're desensitized to the word hydrate. You go in the store, there's all kind of water and all that mess, and you know. But what, what I want to do is help with the philosophy. So when I walk into a convenience store and I see aisles upon aisles of sodas and, and energy drinks and all that stuff, what I see are aisles upon aisles of problems, right? We don't want problems. Colin and myself, we work really hard to... Make sure we don't have problems to make it. We, we want to make it hard on stress. We want to make it hard on illness, hard on disease, hard on all these things. And part of the way that we do that is we try to intake solutions rather than problems. I agree. feel that? I feel it, man. So that's it. That's the two steps. Don't ingest problems. Ingest solutions. Yeah. That's, that's, hey, that's it. Is that that's it, really? In a t-shirt. That's all, that's, all I'm gonna say. that's all I'm gonna say about that. Listen. Uh, that t-shirt, on the, spot. the t-shirt on the spot. I put him on the spot. The t-shirt idea is one thing. Here's another thing. I don't like Candy Crush. Okay. <laughs> don't ask me. Farmville. Farmville. Man, don't, don't, come on, man. Listen. Let's, let's, if you're gonna poke me, poke me. The but, next video gonna be about Farmville yeah, just, and Candy just, Crush. Just, just poke me. You ain't gotta put. All I, the, I ain't sure what poking <laughs> means, really. What's you can poke me, but. Poke Farm, Farm Bill. I don't know if I poke but, you back if that's like something. I need to poke back if yeah, I, I'll yeah, be offended. Me? But listen, guys, hydrate yourselves. Water is so important. The first thing I do in the morning is I drink 24 if I'm having a really great day or at least 16 ounces of water. Try that for a month and see the difference it makes in you. And let me, let me make this quick point, too. The brain of a high-functioning person, a high-functioning person is 80% water. Now, I've seen, read some studies where they showed where the brains of severely depressed people were dehydrated by up to 40%. So if you do the math on that with the 1% with the cells losing 10% of function, if you think of the, 
your cells in their brain functioning with 40% dehydrated. That's a very low functioning cell. So not only will this water, you know, create solutions health-wise, it also does it mentally. So you're thinking clearer, your, your problem solving is better, you've got better mental clarity. It's, it's, it's phenomenal what just introducing solutions and not introducing problems will do for your life. Bottom line, hydration, intelligence. You're dehydrated, you don't want to. <laughs> don't mess with our teacher. <laughs> don't mess with that teacher.